Alrighty, everybody, how you guys doing? It is April 24th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. We're gonna cruise through the village and look at the shirt that one of you guys, Mary Alice, got for me. Thank you, Mary Alice, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome shirt. So we are entering the village right now. We're gonna do a cruise through the village so you guys can get a feel of what it's like right now. It's such a beautiful day. It's about 70 degrees right now. I mean, it is perfect. And we're gonna kind of walk in, in the street a little bit to get a better view of everything. But we're gonna blaze through the village real quick. So you guys can see what's going on here. Alrighty then, alrighty then. Right here, Robin Hood Resort, one of my favorite places to stay in Big Bear. It's a great, great spot. I think you guys would really like it. As a matter of fact, it's uh, it's right here. Robin Hood Resort, right there. And it's on the corner of Pine Knot and Big Bear Boulevard. It's a really great spot. Um, not too pricey. It's, it's a really great spot. Got some good restaurants like the Brewing Company here and Peppercorn Grill. I mean, just just a lot of good good stuff. There's the, the boneyard right there. The boneyard is one restaurant where I have not been to yet, but I really want to go eat there. They do have a really nice menu. It looks looks to be fairly average priced. You got a tattoo shop right here, Big Bear Tattoo. Take a look at some real estate. One of our most famous restaurants in Big Bear is not this one. That's the social, but the one we're passing right here to the left. It's called Teddy Bears. I've heard a lot of good things about there. I need to give them another chance because my first experience wasn't all that but I'm always honest with you guys, but keep in mind, <clears throat> all these opinions are subjective, okay? You could love what I didn't love so much. But as I said, I will give them another shot because uh, I hear nothing but great stuff about them. And they deserve to get uh, as much business as possible if they're doing things right. So let's, uh, let's keep on uh, cruising through here right now. Here's our movie theater. Pretty neat. It is really cool that we have a movie theater right here in the village. You guys are gonna think this is nuts, but in the eight years that I've lived here, I've never been once. Never been once. And that is Saucy Mama's. That place is known for, for really good pizza, etc. So I think you guys should give them a shot as well. Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to capture as much as I can. We'll be walking back down, so maybe I'll just kind of stick to this left side here. And then once I come back down the other side, we will record this side. But yeah, it's not too busy right now, but it is a little bit packed. It's, it's not as packed as I imagined it would be today, but it is Monday, so I gotta think about that. And uh, yeah. This place right here, the Copper Q, known for really, really good stuff as well. Coffees, bagels, quiches, stuff like that. Phenomenal products over there. The Copper Q. Look at that thing. Sweet. Doing a walk like this is, is really good because then you guys can really see all the shops that we have. There's a big gift shop right here. Brown Bear gift shop. We're not gonna be going inside these stores. This is a frozen yogurt place, as you can see, Berry Bliss. And this is our newest shop in Big Bear, or in the village, I should say. And my wife always tells me there's a replica of me right there. <laughs> uh, 
That is so funny. Alright, so we're gonna head on to this side of the street. Pergola. This is another place that I've heard is really phenomenal. I haven't eaten here yet. But it's called Pergola. They have a very nice patio here. These these fire pits right here to keep you all warm. They've they, they've definitely done it right here. So now we are on Village Drive. And we're gonna go to the very end up here. Just so you guys can see what's what's up over here. And then for one of you guys, I have to stop inside of one of these stores to grab some stickers for you. So I'll be doing that while we're on this ride or this walk. Hang on a second. Hang on a quick second. We're going to go over here. Okay. Sorry about that. My camera went off for some odd reason. But we crossed the street here. We're going to check out these shops right here. North Pole Suites, you guys. I've heard nothing but great stuff about them. Another restaurant uh, or a place I've never been ever, unfortunately. Barrel 33, it's a wine shop. Here's one of our most famous bars, Whiskey Dave's, but we don't drink. So we avoid these places like the plague, unfortunately. But I know a lot of you enjoy a drink responsibly. I can't drink responsibly. For me, one is too many and a thousand is not nearly enough. So that's the only problem that I have is, yeah, it's quite, quite unfortunate. But anyway, here's another village sweet shop right here. They have, oh my gosh, they have, they have so much cool, cool stuff here, you guys. And such winter stuff. All these hot chocolate places and, oh, it's just great. I think that's my friend right there. Let's see. The nut house, the village nut house. Some of these buildings here have a bunch of different shops inside of them. Let's see here. Okay. And sorry about all my talking. I'm trying to talk over some of this background music because I don't want the channel to get in any trouble by playing some background music. Apparently that can be big trouble. And I don't want that. Nick does not want to get in trouble. Okay, here we go. I've been here before. I got a smoothie here, a strawberry banana smoothie. It was really yummy. Let's see here. Let's see here. Guys, there's so much great stuff here. So much great stuff. I think that shop's called Stupid Idiotic. That's really weird. Stella Luna. That's another great, great place. I actually got a really good strawberry banana smoothie there. And once again, it's called Stella Luna. And here we're at the end of the village here. That restaurant right there, you're seeing Oakside. Phenomenal restaurant. Really kind of like high-end food, but not too overpriced. As you guys know, in Big Bear, we have a lot of really pricey stuff up here, which is unfortunate how they charge so much for things. But, all right. This is the lodge at Big Bear Lake. It's a Holiday Inn Resort. So this is in one of the lodging videos that I've done, you guys. I have a playlist for all the lodging. Um, we stayed in the biggest room they have to offer here. I think it was about 1,100 square feet. Kind of interesting how it was laid out, but still nice. Here, we haven't stayed here yet. They wanted like over a thousand a night, which was just ridiculous. When I looked on, uh, I think it was my Expedia, but this place is called The Club. I used to deliver pizzas there when I worked for Domino's, so I got to see the insides and uh, you guys would be much better off at a Ritz Carlton or something like that because <laughs> I probably wouldn't have paid 250 a night for that place. But then again, I was trying to book it during these last big snowstorms, so you can imagine how that's going to be a, a, a problem. But yeah, so yeah, this is a really nice place. 
we stayed in the very corner right there so it was a room that wrapped around the corner on the second floor big 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 room and uh yeah we got a good german deli right here across the way remember we're on village drive right now up here is big bear boulevard again so yeah this is the german deli and uh yeah we're gonna shut it off right now and then i just gotta walk into this place tropicali real quickly to see if someone there might have some of this dude's stickers so i can send to one of you guys but yeah we'll start heading back right now hang on guys okay so we were able to get a bunch of those stickers they weren't as crazy as i thought they would be they're just super simple but it's been long enough our friend on the channel has been waiting a long time for me to grab them so we finally got it and, and I got you a bunch of them, Wellesley. Our friend Wellesley on the channel, you guys. Yeah, that Tropicali place looks really cool, you guys. I've been in there once and I didn't even remember it at all. It felt like I was in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Really nice staff. So I can't give you guys an opinion on the food and stuff like that because I haven't eaten there, but uh, if you want a good atmosphere and a really terrific staff, then definitely hit that place up um, and then take the risk on the food. I've heard nothing but good stuff about it, but I'm not into the whole healthy scene. Sadly, I'm probably not going to live that long, but you know what? At least I'm living life to its fullest. All right. So, yeah, this is that place I was telling you guys about that's super, super expensive. And, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, it's beautiful, right, guys? I mean, it's really pretty, but I just don't know about that $1,000 a night. <laughs> You used to be able to get the nicest Airbnbs up here for like a thousand a night. I rented a place that was two thousand per night, and it was the whole, the whole bed, bed and breakfast. It was freaking awesome. But yeah, hang, hang tight for me a quick second, you guys, because I gotta. Guys, we just ran into my good friend Austin right here. This How guy is the man. This guy is the man. One of the best people you'll ever meet up here. I love that guy a lot. Good to see you, Austin. Later, brother. Oh, man. That guy is so freaking cool, you guys. Like, literally just the coolest. All right. There's Village Music. They got a bunch of good, good stuff in there. They used to be right down the street on Pine Knot Avenue, but they moved, and the store's a lot bigger now. It's, it's, it's great. It's great. I think you guys would enjoy it, especially you musicians who like to come up here and just kind of get lost in nature. It's a really great place. All right. This is the Village Mall. Yeah, guys, this isn't the most in-depth, thorough village cruise, but I thought you guys would enjoy it. Queen Bee Honey Shop. I've done a video there. I always suggest you guys shop there because they have really, really, really good uh, everything derived from the best honey out there. So I think you guys would truly enjoy it. You just gotta give it a chance. Um, they have like the best skin balms. My wife just, she swears by it. She already has beautiful skin, but it, it makes her skin so much nicer than it already is. It makes my perfect wife even more perfect. I don't know how that's possible, but anyway. We're cruising by Jack in the Box, and this side of the road over here is where we walked originally. And they have quite a few shops over here. If you guys like Thai food, I've heard good things about Royal Thai Bistro. I actually ate there one time. I took my wife before we were married to go eat there. Okay, so this is a view once again at the, at the corner of Pine Knot and Village Drive. So over there, if you take a right here, you'll go all the way to the end of the village and it'll drop you off at Big Bear Boulevard, just like 
If you go down here on Pine Knot and go all the way down, this will drop you off as well on Big Bear Boulevard. Or if you go straight, it'll take you into one of the marinas. So pick your choice, pick your choice. Himalayan restaurant. I've heard good things about this place as well. I've never eaten there yet, but I'm 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 giving you guys references from what I've heard from other people who are for me reliable sources. Once again, I know this place costs a lot of money, you guys, so I don't want you guys to have to pay and get ripped off for something that you just don't enjoy too much. So if it's someone who's reputable, I will I'll tell you guys, and also from my own personal experiences, I will tell you guys. Yeah, this is, oh man, this is such a beautiful day today. Such a beautiful day today. Bunch of shops over here. Artisans. Last time we did a walk through the village, it was, there was a lot of snow here. A lot of snow. Got gift shops everywhere. I mean, guys, gift shops everywhere and stuff for dogs and cats and stuff. I mean, this place has a lot for dogs and cats. Lots of real estate companies in the village here. I'm telling you guys right now, there's a big crash coming up here. If you guys can hold off a little longer, you would, you would be great. And this place right here, Fire Rock. Fire Rock is probably my favorite burger in the whole entire village. You got North Pole fudging. And I should shop actually we're gonna come go across the street here to record the rest of this side of the street We've already done most of it, but I Want you guys to get the best perspective that I can give you and once again I'm talking a lot because I'm trying to drown out some of the music in the background So forgive me. I don't want to get any strikes on the YouTube channel for stupidity It's unfortunate that that happens, but it is what it is they will give you strikes, and after a certain amount, I think they take your YouTube channel down. In eight years, I've never had any strikes. There'd be no reason to give me any strikes because I'm a good person and I follow the rules, but um, we just gotta be extra cautious. Okay, so I don't think I talked about Social. Social is a really great, great restaurant. I've eaten there twice. Um, I enjoyed it. I typically get the same food everywhere I go, you guys, so I'm not really, much of a gambler but what I had there it was great it was just a regular burger and fries cheeseburger and fries right there social 572 I'm assuming and this guy's not wearing a helmet that's such a bust that's as blatantly dumb as it gets right there riding a motorcycle in California without a helmet they will absolutely destroy you for not wearing a helmet here sometimes they'll even take your bike from you but I'll have my Harley back next week and we'll be doing some rides on the Harley so that'll be nice I'm looking forward to that I'm trying to figure out a microphone system I might just wear my chest mount and try to talk really loud so you guys can hear me when I'm on the bike, but I really want you guys to be able to hear what I'm saying when I'm on the bike. But yes, it's a gorgeous day in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. We did the whole village, guys. See, it's it's not much much of an effort to do this this village. It's a nice little walk, not the longest walk. What I'm thinking about doing is hanging a left here and going down one of the back streets a little bit but actually we might just kill kill the video now yeah all right yeah i think we're gonna be done thank you guys for allowing me to annoy you guys even more than usual today it's, as i said because of that background music I don't want to get any strikes so I had to kind of try and talk as much as I could over the parts where the music was blasting yeah we're back at Big Bear Boulevard wait wait we 
beautiful place. There's a little nook view of the lake right there. But yeah. We gotta go take care of something at the post office, so this is gonna be it. But thank you guys again for cruising. It's April 24th, 2023. Hope you guys enjoyed the village tour. Once again, it was just a basic walk through the village. We didn't obviously go into any stores or anything like that. Um, I have to be careful because if people don't wanna be recorded, you can get in trouble for that too. So you just gotta be careful. Anyway, peace out you guys. Take care and thank you guys for everything. And thank you, Mary Alice, for this awesome shirt. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we will chat with you guys later. Until next time.